My name is Angie Peacock. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri originally, and I live in a van and travel the United States. I joined the military when I was 18, fresh out of high school. I was a 31 Romeo, which is now a 25 Romeo, which means communications. And we got deployed in 2003 to Baghdad at the very beginning of the war. And very quickly, I'd say within a month, I went from 140 pounds of muscle and like toughness to like 100 pounds. I could see all my bones, my cheekbones. I was really sunken in. I looked really sick. I'm either gonna die from the sickness that I have or I'm gonna die from getting shot at because I'm running convoys for, you know, four times a week. So I was medevaced back to Landstuhl, Germany, and the very next day I got news that the, our convoy got hit. I had had so much trauma back to back to back because you know I'm in Baghdad every day for six months thinking I'm gonna die and running convoys and there's gunshots all around you and there's IEDs going off and rockets coming in. Like every single day you're like thinking you're gonna die and then after that, I was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and medically retired from the Army. Yeah. I have done so much with Wounded Warrior Project. I mean, I've been involved for almost like 12 years. So I would run alumni events in my local area. I try to do events and touch as many communities as possible. So I went back to school and I got my master's in social work and I got really interested in both mental health, being a therapist, but also the social policy side. Now I'm a holistic health coach and I help people do what I did. I think my generation of veterans needs to know that they do have the ability to heal. They need avenues and resources for that. So the programs like Wounded Warrior Project that, you know, helping veterans have the experience of health and like getting them active again, getting them back in their communities, that is what our generation needs the most. That shift away from you're ill and you're disabled and you're never gonna get any better to like you are healthy, you are powerful, you are meant to be here and we welcome you into our community and we're gonna help you thrive. It's in our DNA as military members, that's who we are. We are strong pillars of our community. I just wanna like stand as like a testament that you can get better and I just hope that other people believe that about themselves that they can have whatever kind of life they want, you know.